Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, playing Grand Tactician the Civil War. These are the historical battles I am playing as the Confederates in this uh, series. We're up to the Battle of Glorietta Pass, uh, March 28th, 1862. Uh, to my knowledge, it's one of the few battles of the American Civil War fought in the Southwest. Um, this is the New Mexico Territory, Arizona Territory, um, somewhere out by Texas. Um, we are going into combat with 1,100 men. They have 700. Um, they have the advantage in guns, and uh, we are up in terms of cavalry. Our army is commanded by Sibley, Henry H. Sibley. It's probably a brigade size battle. Uh, we have William R. Scurry and Charles Pyron. The Union is going to be commanded by John P. Slow with Samuel Tappan and John Shivington. So, a little bit about the battle here. I'll scroll through this real slowly. Uh, there's probably a wealth of knowledge in these uh, descriptions of the battle. I probably should actually do a little bit of research into each of these battles before I uh, jump right into them. Maybe it would be beneficial in uh, putting my tactics together. But I have yet to uh, do that. I'm by no means a Civil War expert, although I would uh, consider myself a Civil War buff on a very, very recreational level. So we are going to get into the Battle of Glorietta Pass and the fight for Pigeon's Ranch. General, about three o'clock in the morning, we reached Major Pyron's encampment at Johnson's Ranch, Canyon Citro. There has been an agreed cessation of hostilities until eight o'clock the next morning. Too much praise cannot be bestowed upon the courage of the officers and men engaged in the affair of the 26th. The enemy still not making their appearance, I have concluded to march forward and attack them. The enemy force under Colonel Slow is most likely falling back to Fort Union, and we must defeat them in a sharp conflict before they can slip away. The enemy army is green with good morale. Their supply situation is excellent. A small wagon guard of a hundred men and one cannon will be left at Johnson's Ranch, ready to continue through Glorietta Pass when the battle is won. Okay. <coughs> so, we are... This is a very small map, and we are right here. Uh, Glorietta Creek, let's scroll down here. Now, if you were wondering about the uh, thumbnails for these episodes, each thumbnail that I make, uh, I pull it, the image from uh, Google Images. It is an actual uh, photo from the battlefield. Uh, most of the battlefields are national military parks. So if you're wondering each battle that I fight here, you will see a real picture of the battlefield. As it looks today here. Sorry, I got a little distracted here. Uh, Pigeon's Ranch is right in the middle. Let's see. All right, so we are going to take our men. Let's see what we're up against here. Oh, we got one second Texas, or TX, 300. We got 250 cavalry, 250, and 250. All right, so let's get the uh, battle started. Going to send our cavalry out in advance.
Just march them one at a time, right down the road. Take these objectives. Oh, uh, minor victory already. There, and we'll take our guns. We're gonna keep our guns a little further back. Uh, put them right here, and our infantry. Move them right over here. It's not bad. Bump the speed up a little bit so we can get moving. Kind of wondering uh, the best approach I think probably would be to just come down this way unless they uh, happen to be over here, and then that could be a problem. It's a nice little battlefield. I say that because uh, a lot of the battlefields, my uh, artillery, even in the campaign, my artillery is hampered by line of sight issues. This is pretty wide open, so hopefully our guns can do uh, some good in this battle. Do hope you guys are liking the uh, the playthroughs of the historical battles so far. It's uh, pretty fun. I'm slowly adjusting to uh, an army that is something other than what I would create and uh, deployment that is, for the most part, nowhere near what I would do. So, and we are uh, two for one so far. Okay. It's like everyone is just about in position. Now they could be coming in from down here. They already hold this objective, so I'm assuming that they're mostly going to be over here. Um, if we could send some scouts out here. I don't use uh, scouts... Uh, it's not going to let me do it. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Send some scouts out. I'm going to send them down along this section here. Okay. No, we're not. So they are set up right on Pigeon's Ranch here. On this side of the river. How many scouts do we have? 50? Alright, so our scouts actually let's just have everyone go to a single line have infantry oh, can't do that Alright, our guns. Well, they're coming at us. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's get our guns up right here. 
We do have a detachment across the river, so uh, we're going to pull them right here. Mounted rifles. We got decent guns, so I'm gonna get them up right here. You come up right here. Well, there's a lot more of them than... Alright. No big deal. Huh. What do we have range on here? 12 pound howitzers. We could start opening up on these guys here. And bring our detachment up a little bit. Bring the 5th Texas up. Then we'll get the detachment over here. Okay, have you come up? Not sure why you're still in a marching column, but... It's fine. If you come over here, this might extend the line a little bit, although they might be a little uh, disorganized trying to come through these woods here. I think their cannons are opening up on us. They are on long range. Not sure why this guy's still, uh, Standing there, but there he goes. Start pushing forward on him a little bit. All right, our guns are firing now. Get our commander a little closer to the center of the action so the orders don't take so long.
guys are kind of doing their own thing there. Alright, he's in cover right where he is, so I'm going to leave him there, actually. Mount. This detachment needs to get moving. All right, these guys are getting fired into on their flanks. So we're just going to turn them to face these guys. <clears throat> okay, I want our guns to uh, start opening up on them. Attachment really needs to uh, start moving here. Get our detachment up, firing on them. Then we're going to bring the uh, fifth down. Right down here. That's starting to slide in the wrong direction. That's not good. Guess I'll just give an order to attack somebody. There we go. If you're not gonna follow my orders, I'll just tell you to attack. Here, there's one unit on their center that's broken. Let's uh give the order to rally. Okay. Just accidentally pulled them from the wrong side of the field there. Looks like our uh, unit just sort of died. Yep. Oh wow, we lost. Ah, we lost already. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. Ah, and we got an hour. That's crazy. I'm just gonna attack, because why not? A major defeat too. There they go. Holy shit. Well that's uh that's something. Wasn't expecting a defeat like that.
You guys are getting killed over here. Damn. <laughs> Hit those guns. Hit them. Oh, there goes our infantry. Oh. It slid back to victory, too. Oh, well. All right. Well, we lost Loretta Pass. Um... We did lose, uh, oh, almost 50%, but still, I mean, that, that was a quick victory for the, uh, for the Union there. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, so Glorietta Pass was a resounding failure. Uh, next, we have the Battle of Shiloh. Uh, we're going to be outnumbered 63,000 to 40,000. Uh, although we do have 3,500 cavalry to their 600, um, it is Joseph or Albert Sidney Johnson and uh, Ulysses S. Grant. Um, I know historically, even though the Union won the Battle of Shiloh, Grant was kind of dragged through the coals as if he had lost. Um, so we're going to see what we can do about making that uh, tarring and feathering appropriate in the next battle, which will be pretty interesting. So if you like this battle and this episode, hit the like button. If you have any thoughts, leave those in the comments below. Tips and advice as well. If you'd like to follow along with the rest of the... Um, historical battles we've got a lot of them hit the subscribe button um, after I finish these what I'm gonna do next with uh, the game Grand Tactician is probably do a uh, Confederate campaign starting in 1864 so if that's something that you are interested in seeing once again hit the subscribe button and you will not miss anything out other than that, we are going to call this one uh, Embarrassing Defeat and a Day. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.